Hello, my name is Greg, and today I'm going to tell you a story. Once upon a time, in a kingdom, not really far away, there was a evil queen. You all know her, but I cannot tell her name out loud. I can write it on my next slide, though. <laughs> to look nice, the queen was giving to her people lots of gifts. But the biggest treasure she was offering them was God Reuse. Everyone loves God Reuse, right? This God Reuse was achieved through inheritance from the queen. And thanks to this, the queen was keeping control over all her people for generation and generation and generation and generation and generation. And you get the idea. The Evil Queen was in control of her kingdom for several decades, when one day came a swift wizard. <laughs> His name was Cristobald, and he wanted to create a new kingdom next to the Queen's kingdom. He brought different kind of people. When the Queen heard about his project, she sent a curse to the wizard. Thankfully, the wizard was strong, and only the classes got infected by the inheritance curse. <laughs> the war between the two kingdoms continued for several years, until one day, the wizard left. So it is now our duty to continue the fight, and to do this, let's see the rules to win. In the Wizard's Kingdom, you may need to work with those infected classes for several reasons. Maybe you work with your eye kit, or maybe you need a reference type, or simply you want to reuse some code. If you work with your eye kit, you're doomed. You will have to inherit a UI kit class, which means that you will have to inherit from the queen. But you can stop the propagation of the curse by using the final keyword. You might be using a class because you want a reference type, not a value type, so you can have something that can be shared or accessed from different places. In this case, you don't have to inherit from the queen. But still, you must stop the spread of the curse by using once again, the final keyword. And finally, you may be using a class because you want to reuse some code. The code you will write in the class will be reused in its subclasses. If it's what you're doing, stop right there. You've got lots of other tools at your disposal when it comes to code reuse. To sum up, always mark your class as final, or don't use a class. And together, let's keep fighting the Evil Queen until we get rid of the inheritance curse. Thank you. <laughs>